My name is Del Cover. I'm a studio furniture maker. I've been doing it for about 30 years now. Uh, I like to do rocking chairs. A lot of my pieces, I try and take good furniture techniques, uh, good construction techniques, but to make them into art pieces. When I first started building furniture, one of the first chairs I came across was a Windsor style chair. And I actually did a repair job on it. And in doing that, I studied the chair and looked how it was built. And I thought, well, I'm gonna design my own. The chairs I, were making, I was making at that time were very comfortable, so I took all the seating points, the angles, everything else, and then designed a new chair that with totally modern lines on top of that. And then over the years, I've done several other chairs based on those same parameters, but different designs. Some of my work is very sculptural. Some of it is visually uh, amusing. Sometimes there's even a pun involved in the pieces. I've actually found some of my more creative ideas I'll find in a near dream state when I'm waking up. In terms of wood, I love the colors, the different forms, the figures you can get in wood. A lot of my pieces like to use color, and wood can take strong colors or muted colors, but you can form it, you can adjust it, you can balance it to what you want. I do get inspiration from the garden and the yard. Uh, a lot of times some of the shapes and forms that I'll incorporate in a piece come from natural farms. I'm always observing plants and shapes. A lot of times we'll try and use these uh, ideas into the piece. I think the first four hours of the day are my most productive time of the day. That's when I really get a lot done and work out a lot of problems. And a lot of times I'll come back in the evening after dinner or that time I seem to get a second burst of energy. In the Mingay, I have several rocking chairs. One is a earlier rocking chair that I did. It's my own design. It uses some joint work that's similar to the uh, joints on the Sam Maloof chairs, but the design itself is very different. I have another rocking chair that was recently done that I call a floating seat rocker. It's a whole series of ways of putting the chair together that I came up with to re-engineer the chair itself and to come up with a modern looking chair. I have another piece in there that's called Best of Show and I had all this stuff laying around the shop and I thought well is there some way I could take all these scraps or a leftover leg, a leftover piece, a piece of molding from 28 years of woodworking and put it in one piece of furniture. The Balboa Park Bench is one of the architectural pieces where I take architecture, and architecture has always been used in furniture making for details and moldings and crowns and stuff like that, but I take it a little further and use the actual architecture to create the entire piece. The cradle is a Windsor-style cradle that I did for my uh, youngest daughter, Triana, and it, it's uh, made out of koa wood and a lovely piece. It's been in our family now for uh, 16, 17 years. Seeing pieces like this, I think, can bring out creativity in anybody. I find that when people see my work, I'm always getting reactions with people that they love what I'm doing, or, or even other people's work. They see it, and they love the, uh, the beauty, the creativity of the work. And I think a lot of times that inspires people to go out and try it themselves. They may not have the technical skills to do woodworking or something like that, but they can. there are other things they can pursue. And I get up every day excited about what I'm going to be doing. I've been able to grow and develop this, and it's worked out very well. I like the idea of being able to do something new and different every day. The reward is the satisfaction of being able to solve the problem, make the piece work, make things structurally sound, get things to come together so you know it's going to work, it's going to hold together, and it looks good.